Christian, take two. Brent, my thoughts on Brent. So first and foremost, we all know BC is the GOAT. When I first met Brent Calloway, it really opened my eyes into, okay, this is what performance is supposed to look like. When I got the phone call from him to, to get the opportunity to come here, I was definitely fanboying. I didn't want to tell him that. Christian, hey man, this is Brent Calloway from Exos. We got a spot for you on our team, buddy. He's taken me under his wing and he's shown me the ropes and he's taught me so much in such a short period of time. Uh, man, I value that uh, more, more than sometimes breathing. My training philosophy throughout my whole college career coaching was pretty much built from the small times that I've had with you in the past. I feel like Brent's a motivator. He made it known that I belong and that I could be something great. Brent does a really good job of taking care of his athletes, making sure, you know, that they're staying healthy and doing things the right way. I love everything about him. His swag, you know, his confidence, his passion, and the way he teaches us every day. He don't let us slack off, so I really appreciate him. I was probably in second grade when I knew I was going to be a coach. You know, God really put me on this earth to do this job, to be able to impact these players and help these players build a career for themselves and get things started on the right foot. So when I was growing up, I, I came from an athletic family. My dad was involved in sports. He was a coach. Watching my father get up and head to practice, get locker rooms set up early in the morning, it ingrained that in me a little bit. And he was truly one of my best friends. Getting ready for the day, you know, thinking about the athletes that you have and uh, all the things that you need to, to put together for them is, is something I do on a regular basis. During combine season, Brent is up at 4 a.m. He takes a shower, he gets his coffee, he is out the door by 5 a.m. Go say love you. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. Well, first off, this is a phenomenal company to work for. It matches me perfectly. I think it matches uh, kind of how my mind works. I am 100% extroverted. So I get all of my energy from others. What motivates him is the ability to make impact on others. He's such a champion. He, he wins and he wants to make sure everyone around him wins. My alone time during this time of the year, I mean, it's the early morning. A lot of the times I drive and it's just silence. And it's, it's pretty awesome to see where your mind goes when you do that too. Almost like meditation, right? You can get in some really good thought processes. Most of the time it's, it's quiet in the car. He cares so much about them and about them achieving their goals. Have purpose, have intent in everything you do, especially now. We got a finite amount of reps and sessions and days, so stack them up. He comes home after 12 hour days absolutely exhausted and he's back up at 4 a.m. the next morning because he can't wait to get there and help these guys and make a difference. I really enjoy being able to help others. I grew up watching my dad coach. My question to him was always, if you could start over, what would you do? He said, I'd be a coach. And I said, okay, well, I'm gonna go that route too then. It's something that I wanna do as long as I can do it. We are coming in today to evaluate our athletes' ability to get off the line for their 40 starts. We're gonna check how they are from a monitoring standpoint, see what type of times we can get. It's a regular thing for us. You know, Preparing athletes for the NFL Combine is a process in which we take athletes and help them tap into what's inside of themselves. The athletes that we get in this building, they are huge. Two inches taller than me? I'm looking at his neck right here. Like, right, right. Gee. They're phenomenal athletes. They move like poetry. They are big kids. When you get to know them, you realize they understand the team effect is extremely important. When that happens, you can really accomplish something special. I 100% feel like we at Exos have been able to help with these athletes transitioning into professionals. What we do with our combine athletes is absolutely transferable to what they're going to be doing in the field of play because at the end of the day, the one thing that separates you from the competition, speed. 
I mean, if you can't beat a man to the punch or beat an athlete to this spot, you play no pivotal role. I mean, you have to be able to run. We're able to take these athletes, stick them in our lab per se, and make them the fastest human beings that we can make them in a short period of time. How we attack speed within the combine process 100% transfers over to the field. The players that come into the building, we try as hard as possible to deliver a culture to help them tap into everything that they need to to accomplish their goals. When they come here, they're not just checking the box for eight weeks. They're coming here and learning and receiving bigger lessons they can convert throughout their professional career. The culture is amazing. You know, we face a lot of athletes during the season and then just to come here and get work together. The guys are amazing. They're great. It's kind of like we've all been playing together and we never played together before. They do a really good job and I have to give a really big shout out to EXOs. I want to show these players that I'm here for you. We just trust each other and we just trust Coach Brent Calloway to lead us in the right direction. It's been a wonderful experience while being here. When I'm coaching these players, it's not just a one-on-one -on -one relationship between them and myself. They need a group of very competent professionals around them to help them be the best version of themselves that they can be in front of NFL personnel when that day comes. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? I wish I could invite people into our home to see Brent 24-7 because the same person he is at Exos with those athletes, he is at home. He is a good to the core, incredible human being. He is so patient. He's the best father. I like my dad. He's the coolest dad ever because he's really nice and he's there for everybody. He'll stick up for you if you're down in the dumps. I wish everyone could see his consistency, his loyalty, and his heart. He's just an incredible person. I've dedicated almost 20 years of my life to helping these athletes do what they need to do to get these opportunities. And that comes from a place that's really important to me. I lost my dad in, in 2010. Watching him be able to impact athletes and, and to help improve the lives of others is something that's always powered me. And then success on the track with a track and field program in college helped me to tune my eye to the game of football. It felt like I knew where I was supposed to be. For me, being able to help these athletes realize their potential and go out and accomplish something it is extremely satisfying to me and, and to my soul. I would say that he's much more of a, a guardian, you know, some say a father figure. Just coming in, you know, saying Brent first thing in the morning, you know, like he put a smile on your face, always bringing the energy. I can't thank him enough, man. Like, it's just a blessing to be like under his wing. I really thank him. He is the most elite person I've ever seen um, in this profession. I can't thank him uh, enough for giving me the opportunity to work alongside of him. I can't thank him enough for taking me under his wing and loving to death. He's the GOAT. He's the greatest. Brent, you're the man, dude. He has invested countless hours, days, weeks, months, years, reading, learning. He's studying footage. He's pursuing a master's degree. He's so invested in being the best coach he can be. He's on fire this time of year. He's so lit up. He exudes this energy, this enthusiasm, this excitement because he knows he's making a real difference for these guys. This is what you have to do. There's gonna be times when you lose on a daily basis. There's wins and losses every day. And you take those losses and you convert them into lessons. And then from those lessons you learn, right? And that's what we move forward on. And that's how we become better people every day. Athletes come for the culture and they stay for the results.